just when you thought it was safe to go outside, bam, racism. Jenny from Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Oh, you thought you got away with a fast one, mama. Oh, I see you. You want to talk about racism? Let's talk about racism. Strap yourselves in, constituents, because I'm going to let this heifer have it. I don't do regrets. I'm trying to learn from my lessons, but do I get it yet? I want to set an example, but I'm not sure I didn't handle all my demons. I'm thinking that I should court a vet. I fight for all respect. I'm working overtime to keep up my head. I understand I'll get the love when I'm dead. So my focus is red. Choose the black, I'd always keep it me chosen. I've been the token, now the back is ahead. On my sofa, I'm chucking, showing out. Greetings, constituents. Welcome to another race-free day here in Georgia, Carolina. I'm your local congresswoman, Georgia Renee, and I'm happy to have you all here for another lovely town meeting. I'm going to record this video breath in the wind and all because I don't give a damn how cold it is, rain, sleet, snow, or shine. I'm coming after any racist that sits here and tries to come after anybody for racism knowing that they have a past. Oh, Jenny! Jenny, 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 Jenny. Listen. I was scrolling through Twitter this morning, laying in my bed, minding my business, as I always do, and I come across some Real Housewives of Salt Lake City posts, and I scroll through the comments, and what do I find? I find all of these receipts that are showing Jenny's old Facebook pass that are being blatantly derogatory and racist, blatantly derogatory and racist against black people, right? Right? And I'm going to post all the examples throughout this video. She's posting videos against black people. She's vote, she's posting posts against Democrats. She was posting posts against looters and the riots. She sat here and, like, it, she gave it up. She gave up all the racial bullshit, right? Now, mind you, the reason why I'm so upset is because I actually defended this bitch when she sat here and said that she was upset because Mary said that she liked her slanty eyes. How dare you sit here and come after somebody for giving you a compliment, whether it have racial undertones or not. It was intended as a compliment, but you have a history of posting directly racist, not racially inclined. Not racially adjacent, not racially confused, directly racist Facebook posts. As early as late as 2020, which means you were filming this show or you were in negotiations to join this show when this happened. Jenny, how dare you? How dare you bring your ass on this motherfucking show and have anything to say about racism? Knowing you had a past, your husband should have shut you the fuck up. Because the moment you brought up slanty eyes to her, him, he should have sat here and said, okay, well, what about your post about black people? You sat here and posted a post that said police shouldn't have to be reformed because black people have had 18 years to teach their children not to commit crimes. Are you out of your fucking mind? Bravo. Why do you keep hiring racists? Why? What is your vetting system? Y'all finna just sit here and... And hear me scream until I get tired. Because I don't understand. I'm fucking sick of this shit. Why the fuck does, does Bravo keep hiring racists and putting them on platforms and then all of a sudden just throwing them away when we find out about it? Why is nobody going back and discovering these tweets when when y'all are doing the, the, the fucking hiring process? When you decide you want to interview these people, why don't you have somebody go back through their social media accounts 
and figure this shit out. This was in 2020. This, this isn't like it was 10 years ago. This isn't like it was, you know, in her childhood. This was damn near last year. We're only in January. So for all intents and purposes, this was last year, late last year. While we talking about it, because I think I've seen dates from September and October of 2020. So how dare you come in here trying to flex your Asian pride and do all of that bullshit when you want to sit here and be racist? Fuck your Asian pride. Because you know what? If you want to sit here and have an equality for Asian people, but want to sit here and make black people the excuse and the scapegoat for racism, fuck you and fuck your Asian pride. How dare you? I've always said that I'm a motherfucker that stands up for any type of injustice. I don't give a fuck who it's for. Asian, white, uh, Hispanic, men, women, transgender. I stand up for everybody. If it's wrong, I talk about it. But in this case, I'm not going to sit here and uphold you trying to sell Asian pride when you're also selling police brutality. What the fuck is wrong with you? I wish one of Mary's church members would have brought this shit up and found her motherfucking Facebook post and sent them to Mary while they were filming. Where the fuck was Lisa Barlow when all of this shit was happening? Where was Meredith's private investigator when all of this shit was happening? Since she had everybody investigated. You want to be Mary's friend so motherfucking bad, but you don't even... Girl, come on. Come on. I'm tired of sitting here and having these racist motherfuckers put in our face only to sit here and they get fired later and they think that we're supposed to congratulate them about this. No, bravo, had you done your fucking job, had the production company done their fucking job, this would have never been an issue. She would have never been on this show. Bitches like Stasi would have never been on this show. People like all those motherfuckers on Vanderpump Rules, all the bitches on Real Housewives of Dallas, all that shit, all these races y'all been bringing around here for all these years and throwing them in our face. And you want to sit here and act like we're supposed to applaud you for firing a racist once we do the homework you are supposed to do before you hired them. Jenny, I hope you never bring your motherfucking ass back on TV because I'm going to flame your ass every time I see you. I'm going to sting you every time I see you, bitch, because how the fuck dare you? I hope your daughter is embarrassed of you. I hope your daughter is embarrassed of you. I hope your daughter... I hope your husband goes and find a fucking sister wife. And I hope he leaves your motherfucking ass. How dare you sit here and try to create a platform on Asian acceptance and Asian understanding and combating racism. You went after Mary Cosby because she was black. You didn't go after her because of what she said. Point blank period. I don't want to hear no fucking, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear an excuse. I don't want to hear a defense. I don't want to hear an apology. I don't want to hear shit from Jenny. Nothing she can say can excuse this. I'm sorry. Because at the end of the day, you knew what you were posting. It's way too many receipts to be a mistake. It's way too many receipts to sit here and be, oh, I didn't know what I was posting. No, bitch, you knew exactly what the fuck you were posting. These posts were directly aimed at black people, directly aimed at protesters who sat here and stood up for black people and black people being murdered by police officers. And you have the nerve to sit here and defend them and criminalize the black people who are standing up for the victims. You're a piece of shit. You and every motherfucker like you. You and every motherfucker like you are a piece of shit. And I hope Andy, Bravo, 
whoever the production company is that's making this show, I hope every single one of you motherfuckers hear me. Jenny is a piece of shit, and every bitch who comes on Real Housewives that's like her is a piece of shit. At the end of the day, what Mary said wasn't politically correct, but she was not sitting here being racist. Yes, Mary has had a history of saying shit that has made us question her. But at the end of the day, if, she, like, the majority of shit that she said was, was, was against her own people. What she said about Asian people was a compliment, technically. She used the wrong words, but it was a compliment. You sat here and got on your motherfucking Facebook page, which is why I can't find your Facebook page now. You probably knew you were going on this show, knew what the fuck you posted, and sat here and deleted your whole page thinking nobody was going to find your ass. Oh, bitch, they found you. I wasn't even looking for this shit. I wasn't even looking for it. I didn't even plan on making a video about Real Housewives of Salt Lake City today. What I planned on doing was going back. Well, I planned on going back and watching the whole season and doing a recap of the whole season at uh, the season finale. I was going to leave you alone for another few days. Oh, no, 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 no. But the universe smiled on me this morning because the universe did not want me to wake up and live another day sitting and defending your bullshit. I have defended you all season. Motherfuckers have not liked you for one reason or another the entire season. And I have defended you. I liked your character on the show all season. I stood up for you when your husband wanted to get a fucking sister wife on you because you didn't want to have kids. Go back and watch my videos. The ones where I was recapping this show. I stood the fuck up for you. And you gonna sit here and come after the only black person on this show. I guarantee you, she didn't say a motherfucking thing about Meredith. When she sat here and said, I didn't know or I wouldn't have thought that it was offensive, but I just wouldn't have said it. You didn't say a goddamn fucking word about Meredith. You didn't say a goddamn word to Meredith on your social media or anywhere else. This is the shit I'm talking about. But then people like Crystal from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills get unfairly treated because of bitches like you. Crystal Kogminkoff did not deserve this shit. She got bashed, threatened, and brutally harassed racially for no fucking reason. And your ass got away scot fucking free. I have not seen anybody come after you like that. People may not have liked you, but I've never seen anybody come after you this hard all fucking season. And I guarantee you, I... Am not, if they bring you back, I don't give a fuck what they're talking about. I don't give a fuck what happened in the episode. I am reading you every single time I see you on camera. I'm going to make it my business that they don't have your motherfucking ass back. Because let's be very clear. With the exception of Stassi, most of the people who have gotten fired for saying racist shit or racially inclined shit on Bravo have not been this malicious. You prayed on black lives, bitch. You sat here and prayed on black lives. You didn't just sit here and post Blue Lives Matter, which is bad enough. There's not even an excuse for that. But you sat here and did that. And then you're going to sit here and criminalize black people for unduly being murdered by police officers. You're a piece of shit, Jenny. And even in making this video where I'm cussing your motherfucking ass out for 15 minutes straight, I still give you enough respect to not say your last name because I don't want to mispronounce it and make it seem like I'm just saying some shit because you race because you a racist ass Asian woman. Now I see why 
your motherfucking ass came after Mary for any and every goddamn reason you could. Any and every motherfucking reason you could, you came after Mary Cosby this season. And I'm not even defending Mary Cosby. I'm defending a black woman who you attacked all season because you are a fucking racist. Point blank period. There is no excuse. I don't want to hear an apology. I don't want to hear an excuse. I don't want to hear a tweet. I don't want to hear any motherfuckers from your show say anything to defend you. Because I like they motherfucking ass up too. I hope Jennifer Shaw eats your motherfucking ass alive. If they bring you back, I hope Jen Shaw stings your motherfucking ass every time she sees you. Because I know I'm coming for you, bitch. I'm coming for you. Every time I see your motherfucking name, every time I see you on TV, I'm going to dog your motherfucking ass like I saw you post that shit with my own eyes. Period. Notice how she didn't come after nobody else all season. She didn't have a problem with shit. Nobody said and did all motherfucking season. But she was laser focused, deadlocked on Mary Cosby all fucking season, regardless of if Mary Cosby deserved to be held accountable or not. If Mary Cosby breathed the wrong way because she was black, Jenny had a motherfucking problem with it. And now we see why. These posts go back to 20. 20. This ain't from the 90s. This ain't from 2001. This ain't from 2008. This is from damn near last year. We are in January and you gonna sit here and have the audacity to come on this show and stand on race as a, as a fucking soapbox for you. How dare you, bitch? As many times, and I'm not making this personal about me, but as many times as I have sat here and stood up for Asian hate, you gonna sit here and spit in the people's face who probably fucking defended you. I saw so many black people stand up against Asian hate just for the sake of it being wrong. Just because of the fact that we know what the fuck racism feels like. And your bitch ass is going to sit here and spit in our motherfucking face and sit cops on us. I guarantee you that bitch has called the police on black people for no reason. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. It wouldn't surprise me in the least bit that this fuck ass bitch has done worse. Asian Karen has stepped up to the motherfucking plate. And I see you, bitch. I'm coming for you every motherfucking time I see you. Trust me. I'm not even gonna edit this video. I'm gonna post this shit just the fuck like this. So you can see, so you can hear every motherfucking word. I'm not editing shit. I want you to hear me go the fuck off. Because I'm not cutting shit. You deserve every motherfucking word. And I hope I'm not the last motherfucker to get you. Because I hope every single black person in America that watches Real Housewives of Salt Lake City eat your motherfucking ass up. I hope Jen Shaw eats your motherfucking ass up. I hope Mary Cosby eats your motherfucking ass up. I hope Mary Cosby sends Jesus after you. You came for Mary Cosby, I pray that she sends Jesus after you because you are a fucking demon. Bravo and whoever the uh, production company is for Salt Lake City, this goes directly to you. Get rid of her. Get rid of her because y'all have gotten rid of bitches for less. Y'all got rid of motherfuckers on Vanderpump Rules for tweeting less. Y'all got rid of motherfuckers on Dallas for less. Y'all got rid of motherfuckers for less. So don't sit here and think just because she's Asian, she's immune. Oh, no, 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 bitch. She's a 
fucking racist and she stands 10 toes down on it. And how you know I know that is because she sat here and deleted all this shit right before she started filming because she wanted to get away with it. I'm going to go back and I'm going to post in the comments and thank every single person who posted these screenshots because I would have never known about this. I would have never known. I would have never known. Because here's the thing. People think that because I am passionate and, and the way that I speak and that my voice carries and that I have an elevated volume when I speak, that I have a genuine amount of real care for the shit that I'm talking about when I'm talking about this housewives. This is the most impassioned you're ever going to see me talking about housewives. And it has nothing to do with the housewives. It has everything to do with a racist fucking housewife. Period. Jen, Jenny did not go after Mary Cosby because she had an issue with her or because she said something racist or because of whatever. Jenny went after Mary Cosby because she was black. Period. Bravo, if y'all don't, and mind you, y'all probably see my eye crust in my eyes right now. I literally just got out of the bed and hopped in my car to record this video. I haven't even washed my motherfucking face. I took my bonnet off, took the banana clip out of my hair, and bust down to the car so I could record this video. Jenny, you are a piece of shit, and you are an embarrassment to Asian people. You're an embarrassment to the Asian culture. You are an embarrassment to the Asian people who really believe in equality. I hope that the Asian community disregard your motherfucking ass. I hope your husband divorces your ass and finds a fucking sister wife. I hope he finds another bitch that wants to give him another child. You don't deserve to have children. You don't deserve to have children. You do not deserve to influence the next generation. You do not deserve to have children because you will instill hate microaggressions, racism, prejudice. You will instill that in your daughter. You do not deserve to have children. I hope your daughter grows up and is ashamed of you. I hope your daughter sees this video and is ashamed of your actions. I hope your husband sees this video and is ashamed of your actions. I hope that Bravo, Andy Cohen, and whoever the production company is that puts together Truly Original sees this video and is ashamed of your actions. You're a disgusting human being to sit here and get on this platform and attack a black woman and even use racism as a weapon against a black woman. How dare you? How dare you? There is no apology. There is no, there is nothing that Jenny can say to ever make this okay. You know why? It's because you came on this show with a hard stance on racism. But you only came on this show with a stance against racism against Asian people. You have a long-standing and recent history of racism against black people. But you want to come on this show and attack the only black person with a weapon of racism against Asians. You're a sick piece of shit, and I hope we never have to hear from you again. If you like the video, like the fucking video. I'm over this shit, because I could go for another 20 minutes. If you like the video, like the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for coming. I appreciate every single one of y'all that are here. I apologize that y'all just sat here and watched me scream, curse, and holler for 20 fucking minutes. But this needed to be said exactly how it's said, because I... 
on my old channel. You can go back and watch it. I will find that video and link it to this video. You can go back and see there's a nine minute video of me two years ago, three years ago, screaming for nine minutes straight at white people about racism. So guess what? I'm not just anti-racist when it comes to white people being racist. Any motherfucker can get it. Especially when a bitch comes on a show and tries to condemn somebody for racism when you have a blatant history of racism with the demographic of the person you're attacking. You're a piece of shit, Jenny. A piece of shit. And I hope we never have to see you again. Thank you for coming to the town hall meeting. If you have visited our community, thank you for touring. I hope that you take up some real estate in this anti-racist community and you stick around. Because anybody who comes at any type of minority like this, you can get it too. White, Asian, black, I don't give a fuck. If it was a black person, if this was Mary Cosby coming at Jenny like this, you would have gotten the same video. Let me make that very clear before I end this. Had Mary Cosby posted the same shit about Asian people that Jenny posted about black people, you would have gotten this exact same video in this exact same tone. Don't think this is just because I'm a black woman. Don't think that this is just because I'm black. Okay? This has everything to do with it being wrong across the board. This has everything to do with race being wrong across the board. Period. Fuck out of here.